by the way, that was not on purpose. Oh, this is a really tough video to make, honestly. This really is. I'm just, I'm going to upload this right away when I'm done with it, though, honestly. I guess I did actually mean to put the music on in the background. I, I got to have something. I could just do this in silence anymore. I didn't have any practice runs. I'm doing this all in one take, and this is something really, really difficult. Really difficult. Uh, just, I was like, there's no point in trying to edit or add anything in. I just, I say what I need to say on Twitter. I said what I need to say on Discord and my friends. Last night we got some really bad, horrible news. Unfortunately, this is. I'm just going off what I can say. Ikuri Tayama unfortunately passed away. And it, it was, this is the message that we got pretty much. I feel like everybody's written over it though, but I'm still going to read over it. If I mess up, I mess up. I'm sorry. I just, I can't. I feel like I can't just sit in silence. So I, I just can't. So it says, Dear friends and partners, we are deeply saddened to inform you that manga creator Akira Toriyama passed away on March 1st due to an acute subdur subdural hematoma. Hematoma? Hematoma? He was a he, he was an age of 64. That's 64, 68. But now I'm not messing it up on purpose. I, I, I literally messed up on that. It's a deep regret that he is still. Uh, it's our deep regret that he had several works in the middle of creation with um, enthusiasm. Also, he would have more things to achieve. However, I'm uh, sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still like, I'm, I'm, it's so much right now to even take it in. However, he has left many manga titles and works of art to this, to this world, which thank you, honestly. Thank you, man. You are, you are an angel of creation. Like, you are just amazing beyond weeks beyond comedy beyond king kai you were up there with stan lee like even be, you're both inspirations of my life like seriously thanks to the support of many people around the world he has able he was able to continue his creation activities over 45 years which is like a whole entire billion population of a whole world of fans like he left behind so but don't worry, you guys, he is resting easy. I feel like he's resting easy now. His battle, his, it's over. His long Dragon Ball Z battle is over. If I could put that into words, pretty much. But I'm not joking or making anything, like, weird or awkward. I'm just saying what comes to my head right now. We hope that Akira Toriyama's unique world of creation continues to be loved by everyone for a long time to come. We inform you this sad, we inform, we inform you this sad news with, um, grateful, gratefulness, gratefulness. Uh, from um, for your kindness during this his lifetime, the funeral service was held with his family, a few relatives. Like I say, he was a secret private man, so it makes sense. I guess he just want, didn't want to get this out to the public too much because hey, we just heard about it yesterday, so it would make sense why. Following his wishes for um, quintility, put it like I say, he, just, he was a private man, he didn't really do interviews like that, he wanted to be left alone, so it makes sense why. We respectfully inform you that we do not accept flowers. Um, condolences, gifts, visiting, like, offerings, and others, again, like, he was very private, so that's good, though, I'm glad they, at least, at least, like, I feel like just, like, doing that, disrespecting his wishes like that is enough for the, just, just, yeah. Also, we ask you to refrain from, con um, conducting interviews with his family, if you're planning for, um, co 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 commentary, commentary, uh, gathering is not detailed, I will still, we will let you know when it's confirmed. We deeply thank you for your understanding and support. And as always, March 8th, 2024, Bird Studio, Capsule Corporation, Tokyo. This is pretty much to get to it almost, I think, work, I believe, right here. If I, I might be mistaken, but yeah, I'm just going off of what I'm just, I'm just going to go off and say. I'm, I'm glad I'm making this video because I pretty much watched every, everybody else's videos on how they took it. I pretty much she came to my conclusion. I was like, yes, I know how I'm going to make my video. I know how it's going to go. Like I said, I'm not going to monetize it because I don't get monetized from YouTube anyway. Um, I'm not going to promote anything. I might just leave my description blank completely. Just say rest in peace to the Toriyama because everybody on Twitter says peace. Everybody has said their things. It's very similar to Gaji Talks to bring him back up because unfortunately he did pass away from his battle with COVID when he had it. Very similar issue, like, he, they, they were both big inspirations. Him, Stan Lee, I'm not joking, him, Stan Lee, and... And Gajor are pretty much my inspirations, like, for Doken, for Spider-Man, for anything in life. Like, they, those, they, their words, their lessons, their lives have continued on in my soul every single day that I wake up. 
Every time I wake up, I think of Stanley. Now that every day I wake up, I think about Kira Toriyama. Got to talk through the greatest people I've ever met. Ever, I, I never met them, honestly. I never met them face to face, but the three inspirations for my life, they they were pretty much like that. So, yeah. But I'm glad I'm making this video, though, just to get out my full thoughts, because I feel like I'm pretty much I'm good now. I want to make the video to get the rest of my rest of the stress. Because last night, I was, I was, I'm not joking, I was watching Ben 10. Like, watching a breakdown. I loved it. I had a really good day off and everything. It was great last night. Then, unfortunately, I got the news. I'm like, oh, something cool for Akira Toriyama. But I'm like, wait, he passed away? Like, I'm freaking out. Like, what the world is going on? I'm just like, what is happening right now? Like, is this real? Is this serious? But no, it was real. I watched Geekton's video. That's the first time I saw it. Then I saw some more people do it. People were making shorts on it, though. So, thank you to Rest in Peace of Soul. Like, thank you for everything. People are, like, going over, like, what's your favorite Dracul Ball moment right now? Some of my favorite moments I'm going to list off right here. Of course, Goku, the Namek Saga, for me, I was, like, getting into Dragon Ball. It was that, that and Saiyan Saga were pretty much it, though. I was watching how I discovered it, how I did Dragon Ball. I just saw it, like, on, like, TV promotions, like, videos. Like, it was promoting DVDs. And then my sister got me into it. I started watching it. This is, like, 2010, 2011. I started watching Dragon Ball. I was like in elementary school, so me and my friends would talk about it in the playground. We would play it. It was fun. We would Kyle Ken, um, come in the halls. Like everybody would do that at least at one point in their life. So that was fun to do um, when I was a kid. So um, that was when I first pretty much discovered Dragon Ball, how I got into it and everything. So I had fun with that. Um, we didn't know much. We were just screaming at the top of our head lungs, trying to go Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 5, 10. Those were some of the best moments I ever had in Dragon Ball, period. Like, those are some of the best moments I'm just thinking about. Like, literally, when Goku, like, when Goku, like, in the same, during the Saiyan Saga, I didn't miss a little bit at the beginning, though, but I got to the point where, like, where Goku was coming in, flying in, Piccolo was dying, like, that moment, it was awesome. That's how this kid named Gohan, I'm like, who is this guy? He's Goku's son. I'm like, okay, that's awesome. He was like he was just ready to fly back. How about his father? When video went great ape, he just like hurting Goku and Gohan would literally stand up to him. He didn't care how big the challenge was, how much it was, it he literally stood up to him. It didn't matter. Then when he saw his father getting hurt, Gohan stepped up to the plate and beat Vegeta. That was great. He went great ape, he sent it on the ground. We got to name it, Gohan's potential was unlocked. Just going over like how I pretty much how I feel with Dragon Ball, like, again, his work and his art was just amazing, but Namek Saga, of course, Gohan gets his end potential unlocked, um, he like, where does off fight the Ginyu Forest so his last breath with fighting with Kroom when he fought Frieza, when he, his, when he was raging out, when Piccolo came in, he raged over him, like, getting hurt seeing Gohan in just seeing Gohan rise above it all in the Cell Saga with his new outfit with the closed beam I was like, this is my favorite character in Dragon Ball. He looks so awesome and so cool. Youth Gohan is still my favorite Gohan, like in his entirety. It's still my favorite Gohan. The Gi, the Piccolo Gi, the um as an eleven year old, he looked amazing. Like he looked really, really good. Yeah, like he looked really, really good. He looked really, really awesome. That's when I, that, that, I saw him in the Kai opening. It, it was it was just awesome. That's what's peak Dragon Ball. And then we went Super Saiyan 2. I'm like, this is Gohan. The little kid I was going nuts over years ago. Going Super Saiyan 2. Fighting up against Cell. Losing his father. The final coming in how Beam struggle. Then we went to feature Gohan. He was the same thing. He went through so much despair. So much pain. So much loss. And then he rose above that and went Super Saiyan. Even though when Super Saiyan Gohan was defeated. Future Gohan was defeated. That hurt my soul a lot. Like, I feel like a piece of me was missing from that when I saw him die for, against the androids. But then Trunks rose up from his words. His learned his lessons from Gohan, and he he beat them. That was awesome. And then, like I said, going back to Gohan, even during the high school days, I was, he was a goofy teenager. He, he relaxed from all the peace. He was relaxed. He felt good. He felt happy. He remembered Goku's lessons when he first seen him again, but coming back from the dead in the Buu Saga, saying Great Saiyan Man was funny. Going Super Saiyan 2, again, as a, a, a teenager slash adult, unlocking Ultimate Gohan, still one of my favorite moments. That was awesome. And then even going back to Super, like, him going Super Saiyan 2 again, him, like, going, living past his potential, going past his potential, going beyond. That was awesome. That was great. I loved that. That was the best moments ever for me, Dragon Ball, period. Seeing Gohan grow, growing up with him, that felt great. That legit felt great, and I loved it. 
excuse me, sorry for the burp. Uh, that felt really, really good, and I loved that moment. That was best moment of my whole entire existence. Like best, like Dragon Ball is really one of the top things. It's the best thing I've ever had in my whole entire life. Without that, I would never met Snoopy, Jennifer, some of my friends that are on Discord. I would never met any of them. Doken, Thundershot, Kagi Films. Now he's I know he's Sayu, the VTuber now. They got me into Dragon Ball. Rhyme style, like they got me into Dragon Ball. I was watching their videos as like a truth. Like some of my inspirations, like watching them summon while I was play Dragon Ball. That what got me into Doken. That's why I love it so much. That's why I love streaming it. That's why I love playing it, talking about it every single day. My friends love it. Everybody else talks about it. Though we keep going and going with the conversations. The websites, the fandom we built all together with Kira Toriyama, he's loved every single thing of it. Maybe even the fan games. Xenoverse 2, I love playing Xenoverse 2. That's one of my favorite Dragon Ball games. Ultimate Tenkaichi, I love that game too. A lot of people grew up with the Budokai game, talking about Dragon Ball more and more and more. Like, even like going, going beast, like that was awesome. I don't care if like, oh, going study slacked off. I don't care. Drax would go home was funny. I love that. Going, going beast, having his manga outfit. That was peak. The manga, I'm sorry, I'm spoiling this right now. The peak of Toriyama right now. Even now, I feel like it is Beast Gohan versus Yuai Goku in the manga on Beerus' planet. They're both charging, going at each other, full power, full potential, full everything. I loved it all. It was beautiful, it was perfect, and I loved it. Uh, almost a decade of this building up as a kid, and I loved it. Seeing it now, my younger self would not have believed any of this. So yeah, those are some of my best moments of Dragon Ball. Just thinking about it. Thank you, Kira Toriyama, for that. That was any work you've done. Sand, even Sand, like it was Sandland. I was I saw it in the back of a manga in high like in high school. I'm like, this is coming up soon. This is awesome. I'm still gonna watch that movie though because I do I like work Dragon Quest. I think he did. I think it was Chrono Trigger. I believe he did some work on that as well. But yeah, he's done some amazing work, and I, we all loved him for that. So thank you, Kira Toriyama. You really are one of the best souls you can ever live for in the whole entire world. Like you're an angel of creation. You're beyond weeds, beyond beers. You are a god of creation love hope in the world i said what i need to say on twitter i said what i need to say to all my friends i'm so glad i'm getting this video out because i wanted to get the rest of this out of my system i was like i need to get this out i need to talk to somebody i need to pass this on to somebody else so hopefully someone's watching this can make their own videos and we can inspire each other to keep going and going because dragon ball again he was excited for daima i was excited for daima everybody was it looks beautiful and great even though like you know he's passing on even though he's gone we still, I, I'm still excited for it. No matter what he does, no matter what he does. Another Doken team also, as well. Did like a thank you for the character almost work and service. Like he, it, it was. This is this was a great journey. Like I last night I couldn't really sleep. I know why because I was just finding out about this. Like just a few hours after trying to go to sleep, I, just, I couldn't even sleep last night. Like. I'm stressed out. I'm worried. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm like, what should I do? Because this probably is going to be the only video I upload today. Though. Then after that, I'm going back to regular uploads um, for a little bit. But like I said, I'm not promoting this video. I'm not getting out for social media likes or anything like that. Because people will say that right now. Please don't do that. Just please don't think about that. Just please say what you need to get off your chest like I am right now. Just please say what you need to. Get what you need to get out. Vent what you need to vent. This man has a loving family, he's a part of his family, his children, his um his relatives, the people he care about, the people he talked about. He like a lot he left a lot of people behind, but he, we're we're gonna keep Dragon Ball alive for this man. This man, his work, we're gonna keep this alive for him. I wanna keep this alive. I wanna keep this going. I wanna make sure his we all wanna make sure his work keeps continuing. Like I'm gonna keep playing the universe too. I'm gonna keep Buying Dragon Ball figures, pop bars. I have a whole sh I have a shelf. I have a whole entire top hot topic wall. I'm not even joking anymore. I have a whole entire wall. I have a Super Saiyan three Goku that goes in the dark. I have a Super Saiyan Goku. I have a kid Gohan. I have Super Saiyan two Gohan. I have a Cell that goes in the dark. I have a flock of beers with eating noodles. I have a Champa. I have so much Dragon Ball stuff in my room. It's crazy. Like I can make a whole store out of everything I have right now because of Dragon Ball. The shirts I have, the stuff he's made in general, like the shirts he had, the shirts. The, the the um pants the socks I'm I wear Dark Ball socks every single day I bought some from Walmart a few weeks ago like that's how much I love this series it's one of my favorite series ever in life and I love I'm never gonna stop loving this series even though the character almost gone right now I'm we're still gonna keep the, we gotta keep this up like we always no matter what he taught us we have to keep his legacy going I I feel like I know it's a generic and cliche but in my opinion. We're gonna keep him. We're gonna keep this up. Like no matter, we're gonna keep his work alive. Like when Stanley died for me, I was like, I'm gonna keep Spider-Man going. Cause after this, after like a month or two, I should be fine. Cause right now it is hard. Right now it's really hurting. 
the pain that we're all feeling can be like, cannot be explained how much this man a legend like this left is so much behind for us he left so much behind for us to keep going he wants our less our less the lessons he's learned the lessons we have learned the paths we chose the um, love we carry we're gonna keep that alive for him I care to you, if you're listening out there anywhere in the universe if you're up in the sky right now listening to us thank you like seriously thank you we're gonna keep your legacy alive we're gonna keep your um everyone you know and love safe we're gonna keep pushing we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep dragon ball alive for you you created us you spawned a, a whole world a whole universe a whole entire world full of love and joy and care TVs, schools, libraries, like that's what I grew up on Dragon Ball. Finding a, a manga in a library, finding it right now in like a Hot Topic or a Barnes and Noble. Seriously, like keeping that alive is the best thing. Like finding it at a, at a random store of figures that cost like $10,000. Like I would buy that on the spot if I had that money. And I would be like, thank you, Akira Toriyama. Like I have a Vegeta blue figure. I have a Gohan figure, thanks to you. I have all this inspiration, I have all this love, I have all this joy. I have so many friends and people who have just thanked me and loved me every single day because of you. It is you because of you. We have this. It is because of you we have all this. Thank you. Just thank you. For everything. Just thank you. We love you, we appreciate you, we thank you for just being here. Even though he's gone, we're gonna keep the, we're gonna keep Dragon Ball alive for him. We're gonna keep playing the games. We're gonna keep supporting it. Uh, it doesn't matter. But gonna have, there's gonna be other people who's gonna help him. Uh, you know, even though he's passed, there's people probably working on Dragon Ball stuff right now, twenty four seven, thanking him, loving him every single day right now. Everybody's probably making video at the same time I am. I know everybody got their videos out last night. I was going until the day so I can get my full thoughts and opinions out. I was gonna do it at night where I'm sleepy, I'm tired. It wasn't gonna stress me out, but I did want to get up in the morning, get a fresh start. I did go outside. I walked my dog. I relaxed my body a little bit, took a shower, ate some food. I'm like, okay, I had, I, let me just breathe. <sighs> breathe, calm down. Let me finally get my video out. Let me get my thoughts out and everything. And this video is going to be a long one. I, it doesn't matter to me as long as I get what I need to get out, as long as I need to get everything out, as long as I need to say what I need to say and respect for. Hopefully, everybody can keep making their videos. Hopefully, everybody can keep pushing on the same wisdom and knowledge we um he left behind all the stuff we all the hard lessons we learned all the pain we we all suffer as dragon ball fans in general i got the pain stress worry we're all worrying like we all are so worried right now like i literally almost have tears in my eyes right now just thinking about this like i don't want to cry but i want to just like this it really hurts like it's like a pit in my stomach that just not does not want to go away like, my heart literally hurt it last night, just thinking about it. But our friend said, yeah, he's, like, on Snake Way right now. He's tra tra training with King Kai. That, that, uh, those type of stuff, that does help out. That does, that is, that is what, you know, we would all say in general. Like, he's over there with King Kai now. He's, you know, on Snake Way, running the Kaioken. That does, those type of stuff, that makes hearing what we had to say better like that that really that helps us that really does that that really helps us keeps go keeps us keeps us going little stuff like that in life really keeps us going but yes all the lessons we learned all the stuff we've had all the knowledge we lessons and stuff like that yes he was taken away from us at a really young age 64 does seem really young 60, 68 seems really young right now but Cause my eyes are literally hurting right now, like so much like pain right now. I can't even explain how much pain I'm going through right now. How much this really does hurt from the inside out. Like I can just keep going on and on and on forever if I wanted to about this. Cause I was literally was eating last night. I was I was done with my food. I'm just like okay, I'm gonna chill, relax for the night. Then I got the news, and that really hurt. That really really hurt. But yeah, I'm in so much pain right now still, but I'm glad I made this video though to fit this all out because I feel like I'm fully not recovered, but I feel like I am like, I'm, I'm glad I got the big baggage out the way. I do feel a lot less stress. I feel like I feel better talking about it. I just going and going how much I need to let it all out and it, it feels good. It really feels good though. So if you're out there like me, you need to get some stuff out. You need to vent some out. If you need to just say something, please say something. Even if it was a short, even if it was a video. Make sure to say what you need to say, because you never know how hard you're gonna. You, you can't just uh, balling it up and letting it, just letting it go away. It's not gonna make it feel better. 
say what you need to say, get what you need to get out, and just move on. That's what we need to really do. Not not saying because I know Dragon Ball is a big thing. I'm just saying like just get the, what you need to get out, say what you need to say, just just I think that's about just just the thing you need to do because I'm doing that right now. So I, I was like I need to get everything out. I need to talk everything out because even on my streams people are gonna be saying this too, talking about this. But well, I don't mind. I'm gonna answer the questions I can. I'm gonna say rest in peace his soul because he was an angel. But yeah, people. I know people on my stream are okay. I'm gonna stream pro pretty much almost right after the, like 30 minutes probably after this video goes up. But um um. Because other people in my life are going to ask me, like, oh, he passed away. Um, you know, people could talk about it, which I don't mind. I'm going to, I want to talk about it. I want to let everybody, I want to hear everybody's opinions. I want to hear everybody's pain and struggle. I want to share the same experience with you guys. I want to make sure you're okay. I want to make sure everyone's okay. I want to make sure you guys are safe and sound and r respectful for his wishes. Like, I want to make sure you guys are okay as well. Because I'm not the only one on this earth that does feel, feels this right now. Even almost after 24 hours, probably, of this news going up. It still does hurt, honestly. It really hurts. Like, from the bottom of my heart, it really does hurt. Like, it feels like a pit in my stomach that never wants to go away. Like, my eyes hurt right now. My stomach's in a knot. I can't really think straight. I, in. It does hurt. It does hurt a lot. Like, you guys can hear the pain in my voice. It does hurt. We all feel that right now. But like I said, let's just, let's just get everything out as we can. Let's make sure, you know, be respectful for his wishes. Let's just make sure, you know, everything's good for everybody. Let's just make sure we're all safe, we're all sound. Let's all be respectful for him. Thank you, Kira Sarama, for everything. Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You really are the, one of the best people, one of the best souls on this planet that ever has ever existed. Thank you for leading up a whole nation. All the hype, all the love, all the tears, all the pain we've all experienced together, Dragon Ball fans. No matter how goofy, silly, funny it is, we still love you. Thank you for every single thing you've done for us. And her whole entire life, and just thank you, like seriously, thank you, thank you. That like, just thank you. So I can really say, just thank you. Is 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 rough making this video? Like I never thought I would be having to make a video like this, in the next like two or three years. It's just, oh, it's it's a pain. It really is. It really it's hurt make it's hurt making this video. It's gonna hurt uploading this video. It, it's it, it it's really it's really really something it really is it hurts it really, it really does hurt but like I said we can only take everything that he has left behind for us big or small we're gonna keep continuing on with his legacy we're gonna make Dragon Ball alive we're gonna keep the lessons that we've learned the paths we chose in the Everything we've we've done, we're gonna keep that going for you, Kira Toriyama. We're gonna keep that going. We're gonna make sure your we're gonna make sure your legacy lives on. We're gonna make sure everything you left behind does not go to waste. Your work doesn't go to waste. Your life doesn't go to waste. We're gonna make sure every single day we're gonna keep pushing towards us as Dragon Ball fans. Anything funny, big or small, it doesn't matter. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep your legacy alive. We're gonna keep you going. We're gonna make sure your you're you're gonna make sure your work does not get. We're gonna make sure your work doesn't. Go into the wrong hands. We're gonna make sure your work keeps going. We're gonna make sure your work keeps pushing us, keeps changing us, keeps living us, live on. We're gonna make sure we're gonna, we're gonna make sure everything stays the way it is. We're gonna make we're gonna keep moving forward. We're gonna keep charging through. We're gonna keep we're gonna make everything go. We're gonna make everything good for you. We're gonna make sure your legacy lives on. Kid Goku, Team Goku, doesn't matter. Gohan, Piccolo, Frieza, Cell, Boo. Granola, Gas, Black Frieza, Cell Max, everything you left behind, everything you made, we're going to keep that alive for you, buddy. So please make sure to rest easy. Thank you for everybody who's listening. Thank you for everybody who's watched the video, who clicked on this. I'm going to keep watching everybody, else, everybody else's videos. I'm going to keep pushing towards, um, I'm going to keep pushing towards, again, my thoughts out and everything. We're gonna make sure we're gonna keep your every, we're gonna keep your legacy alive. We're gonna make sure you don't never Dragon Ball doesn't fade out. Like we're gonna make sure you're good. 
So rest easy, knowing you expired a whole entire universe of love, joy, and care, and happiness towards like libraries, TVs, uh, books, pictures, movies. The legacy will keep being alive. Thank you, Kira Charma, for everything. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you to your family. People who pushed you. The people who made you go. The people who made you keep working. The people who made you. Who loved you. Who cared for you. Gave you food. Gave you warmth. Clothing. Thank you to everybody who has literally watched this video. Thank you to everybody who, who has cared for this series. Who has loved this series. Who you loved him. I never personally met the guy myself. But if I did, I would have loved him. Thank you. Seriously, just thank you. Thank you for... Thank you for every single thing you've done for us. We're gonna keep your legacy alive. We're gonna make sure you. We're gonna make sure you're good. we're gonna keep your. We're gonna keep your heart. We're gonna, we're gonna keep your hearts. We're gonna keep your love in our heart every single day that you live and breathe in this world. But it's easy, knowing you're in a better place. I thank you, Kira Toriyama. We love you forever. Thank you. Just. Thank you. Perfect thing. Thank you.